How to EQ vocals as a beginner. This is gonna be the best EQ settings for your vocals. I wanna dive right into it. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna play you just the second half of the chorus with everything. All the drums, all the melody instruments, uh, the bass, all the vocal layers. And then what I'm gonna do is we'll just solo out the vocal that's the main vocal. And I'm gonna show you how I EQ'd it, what were the exact settings, and why I chose to do it like that. Let's go. Fuck it, I feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. Trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to rest. Give him my all, but I'm still not in prayer. Yes. Fuck you if you don't respect. Fuck it, I fuck it, I fuck it with check. Last week I was on a yacht, popping bottles, now with snacks. Cool. There's probably still some uh, some mixing adjustments I might want to make, but for right now, I'm definitely pretty happy with EQing wise of the vocal. So what I'm going to do is really share, uh, I'm going to mute the layers for right now, and I'm going to break down how I did the EQ for the main vocal. So one thing, uh, this is not really an EQ thing, but one thing I'll show you is that I did organize my vocals kind of interestingly to where um, I took my vocals and like, as you can see here on the track, there's literally only one plugin, which is tuning. There's no other settings because what I did was I did what's called a bus or an auxiliary channel. And then that has all of the plugins. And the reason I did that was because, you know, I've got my main chorus vocal. Fuck it, I feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. Then I've got the, you know, layers. Fuck it, I feel like a mess. Then I've got these other layers. Fuck it, I feel like a mess. And all I wanted all five of these to have the exact same settings. So I put all of them to this thing called bus six, or it's an auxiliary channel. There's six on the main one. Six, six, you get the picture. So as we go look at these things, we're going to go look at the bus. And I want to show you what we'll do is we'll mute every single thing and then I'll play it for you with the EQ on. Fuck it, I feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. Trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to rest. Give them all, but I'm still not in prey. Yes. Cool. The first thing I did was I had a little bit of this preamp plugin, which is called Sheps. It's kind of like an EQ, um, but it's kind of analog. So the, I'm just going to show you that first. Then I'm going to go show you like the really nitty gritty EQ settings. Fuck it, I feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. Trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to rest. Give them all, but I'm still not in prey. Yes. Right, and you can mess around with the high and low. Fuck it, I feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. Trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to rest. Give Mid. Them all, but I'm still not in prey. Yes. Low. If you don't respect, fuck it, I fuck it, I fuck it, but check. Last week I was on a yacht. Right, so we got that. But then here's the actual EQ. Okay, so here's what I basically did. Let's let's say a little before and after. Fuck it, I feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. Trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to rest. Give them all, but I'm still not in prey. Yes, fuck you if you don't respect. Fuck it, I fuck it, I fuck it, but check. Last week I was on a yacht, popping bottles, now with snacks. So I basically cut out the lows all the way up to about 115. I could honestly even go further than that. Um, and then basically, I'm not just, I'm not gonna go through each and every one tiny thing because look. Look, here's the deal. You might be watching this and you might have been hoping um, that I was going to give you like, okay, do this here and then this here and then this here and this here. That's not really the right way to learn. Okay. So what I want to help you understand is why I did what I did. So I have a process that I use. Um, I call it getting surgical or scanning the EQ. So let me just show you exactly how that looks, how it works. Just so you can kind of understand like what it is that that looks like. So I'm just going to turn this off and I'll actually put this EQ here right here on the main one, just for the example. So with a vocal, you can really see that up to here, there's nothing, right? Oh, there's some stuff there. So we want to take that out. We don't need that in the vocal up to like, sheesh, even like, 140 150 we don't need it because that's going to be where the kick and probably the 808 are going to sit you don't need that in the vocal so that's kind of that first thing i'll do is what i'll do is super extreme and take out a ton of the low end and then pull it back until i feel like i like how it sounds watch Fuck it, I feel like a mess. They checkers, but that's clearly chess. too thin so i'm gonna pull it back Still too thin. Clean. That's clean. The next thing I'm going to do is grab a band, make it really skinny, give it about 10 to 12 dB increase, and I'm going to scan the EQ and find frequencies I like and don't like. Let's go through and do that. 
Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing checkers. Already right there, there's something I don't like. So I'm only going to take it out about, you know, one to two DB. Last week I was on a yacht, popping bottles, now with snacks. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. Trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to rest. Give them all, but I'm still not. All that we don't like. Fuck you if you don't respect. And you just basically go through. Last week I was on a yacht, popping bottles, now with snacks. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. Trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to rest. Give them all, but I'm still not in prey. Yes, fuck you if you don't respect. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck up a check. Last week I was on a yacht, popping bottles, now with snacks. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. Trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to rest. Give them all, but I'm still not in prey. Yes, fuck you if you don't respect. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck up a check. Last week I was on a yacht, popping bottles, now with snacks. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. Trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to rest. Give them all, but I'm still not in prey. Yes, fuck you if you don't respect. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck up a check. I actually like that. Last week I was on a yacht, popping bottles, now with snacks. Now, one thing I, I remember when I was learning music production on YouTube, God damn, so many people wanted to make this kind of a move. I'm sorry. You know, they wanted to do something like this. They'd always want to make a high shelf. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. It's not wrong, necessarily. Um, but the thing I don't love about that is you're going to let in a lot of these high-end frequencies like here. So I actually personally cut out up to like 15K. I like take it out. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. So this like extreme high end, I take it out of the EQ because what I'm going to end up doing is when I do compression and when I throw in a bunch of other plugins, which we won't go into today, this is just EQ, it's, I have more room to play around. I have more room to work. I can add that back in with plugins like Fresh Air. So I don't actually like to have it in the EQ. I'll go and do that same low end thing. I'll go really extreme. And then I can see like, I'll pull it back and be like, well, how much can I cut out? And I know it's going to be somewhere around like, like 9K, probably like 11K, 12K, 13, 14K. Fuck it up, feel like a mess. They playing checkers, but I'm playing chess. Trying to get sleep, but it's all hard to rest. Give them all, but I'm still not in prey. Yes, fuck you if you don't respect. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck up a check. Awesome. Awesome. And then the next thing you'll want to do is play it with the beat. Obviously, it's not loud enough. There's like no compression, no other plugins. It's just the EQ. But we got to take a look. Basically, what we did was first thing was we took out the low end up to about like 120, 150-ish. And then I scanned the EQ, but you can see around the 200, there was some mud. Definitely around the 350 to 450, 400 range. We definitely want to take that out. Some of the mids around 700, some of the highs around 17 and 1700 and 3.7K. And then I boost around seven to eight, eight and a half K. And then I take out up to 15K. Th those are pretty much the EQ settings I use. Um, generally speaking, what I used to do is I used to do like presets. So I'd be like, save as main EQ. I don't do that anymore. I manually EQ every single time. So that is essentially how I EQ. And it's really, really great EQ settings that I would recommend you use first scan the EQ. You know what I'm saying? Like scan the EQ, find what's good and what's don't, but be kind of aware of those frequencies that I just talked about and you should be good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got some value from it and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.